Hey, mi gente. It's Junie and Steve. You guys already know my name. But today's video is going to be about five Afro-Latinos who portrayed African-American characters on the big screen. You guys are going to figure out later on in this video why we're having this discussion. And we are going to get into that now. The first person we are going to talk about is Alfred Nuis and Arch. I hope I said his last name right. The character we're going to talk about that he portrayed is on how to get away with murder. He was portraying an African American character. His character's name is Wesley Gibbons. And if you guys do not know, Alfred, he is English and Afro Brazilian. Which, yes, that makes him an Afro-Latino because, yeah, he has african Brazilian heritage. The second person we are going to talk about is Zoe Zandana. And she portrayed numerous African-American characters. But this specific character we are going to talk about is from 2005's Guess Who. Guess who is a movie starring Bernie Mac and Ashna Kusher? And yeah, pretty much she was portraying Bernie Mac's daughter. And if you guys do not know, Zoe Zandana, she is an Afro Puerto Rican and Dominican. Number three, again, Zoe Zandana. This time her portraying Nina Simone in Nina the movie. Yeah, in 2016. I was so disappointed when I found out back in 2019 that Zoe Zandana, she picked this portrayal to portray Nina Simone because first off, they made her do blackface. Then they made her put a prosthetic nose. Yes, Zoe Zandana, she's an afro Latina, obviously. Yes, she's American. She could have portrayed her. And I'm doing air quotes because the thing is, she's not an actual dark-skinned Afro-Latino. Well, Afro-Latina. And it's disrespectful because we all know why. Blackface is not good. It's not cute. White, or even if you're black, but if you a fair-skinned black person and you're doing blackface, that's messed up. It's always saying that I know she should know that Darker skinned Afro Latinos and black, well, darker skinned black people have it twice, if not three times harder than and fair skinned black people. We all, we all should know this. Next is Naz Anoso. Naz Anoso, he is an Afro Cuban and he was portraying. A man named Jason Taylor in Jumping the Room or Jumping the Room. I think I said the name. Either way, you guys go to see the name of the movie. I most recently watched this movie back in, I forgot when, I think it was December. I don't know. It was somewhere around 2020 I watched the movie. It was a great film. I actually liked it. Yeah, I do not have any complaints of him portraying yeah, this character. And the last person is Nada Anthony. And if you guys do not know who's Nada Anthony, she is, she's an Afro-Puerto Rican. So she portrayed Fro Payne Devon in the New Edition story. It's the movie about new edition and it was like a series it was like a mini series movie and she portrayed one of the the members moms and you know once again yay congrats you know afro latinos they making money you know they acting there's representation of them in a way even though they portray african-american characters a few weeks ago i talked about Afro Latinos representation, right? And about how black, well, 
dark skin Afro Latinas, we always usually push to the back of the media outlets. I still stand with what I said because, as you guys can see, with all five of these Afro Latinos that I just mentioned, they all fair skinned Afro Latinos. They pretty much get a privilege because of that. Whereas for dark skinned Afro Latinos like me, we rarely get portrayals on the big screen. And as you guys can see on the demonstration that I also put in the video about Afro Latinos representation, which by the way, if you have not watched this video, I highly suggest you do after this video, of course. And yeah, I still stand with what I said in America and the Latin America market, they, we hardly see any dark skin Afro Latinos representation. We hardly see any stories about Afro Latinos and we hardly see, and if we see them, it's very rare, but there are a few shows that happen to offer and talk about Afro Latinos. Once again, the focus is usually not a dark skinned Afro Latino like me. It's usually people who are fair skinned that could easily pass as a, as a biracial or mixed race person. What I'm trying to say is that it's good to see representation of all shades of black people in the American market, Latin America market, UK, Caribbean, you, you guys get the point, so on. That's what I'm trying to say. Everywhere, not just in American TV or, you know, sprinkles here, there at UK, Latin America, and these, and so on, places of the continent where the earth Maybe five, within five years from now, there's more dark skin Afro Latino representation. And by that, I'm talking about like someone create a show about Afro Latinos or something that goes within that area. And if they don't, they could portray African American people. Of course, if you guys do not mind African Americans, of course. Or, or, you know, UK or etc. If they could do it, of course, because, you know, there's certain boundaries and stuff that goes through that. But that's pretty much what I wanted to really discuss on this video. Thank you so much if you made it this far in this video. I appreciate you. Today's feature comment. Please comment down below on what you think about what I'm talking about and what I am suggesting. Thank you and peace me.